Hey there, this is Brian with GoHunt.com and today I'm going to talk about the Outdoor Research Stargazer Bivy. This bivy is a great lightweight bivy that you can run in a lot of scenarios. I like it because it's lightweight, it's breathable, and it's waterproof. Um, using this in the field, a lot of times I show up to camp uh, at my hunting spot middle of the night and I don't want to set up a tent, I don't want to set up uh, any kind of tarp, I just want to roll out my sleeping pad, sleeping bag, and hop in and go to sleep. And that's why I like the bivy. Uh, same application applies to when you're elk hunting and you're with the animals and you don't want to have to hike back to camp. You have a bivy, you have your sleeping pad, your sleeping bag, you can just uh, stop and camp right there on the spot. Uh, bivvies aren't for everybody. If you don't like to be kind of restricted and you need a lot of space to stretch out, you might not like a bivy. For me, um, I have good room uh, width-wise. Um, where you kind of run into an issue is kind of the volume vertically. You can't really put on, you know, pants in here. You can kind of go sideways if you want to put your pants on or any kind of clothes. You can sit up, unzip it, sit up and, and change in your clothes. But other than that, I think you have enough room if you're okay with uh, just kind of being a little bit restrictive. Uh, what I like about the bivy, the zipper functionality is very easy, internal and uh, external. There's, uh, I've never had any kind of snags or anything trying to get in and out of this. On the inside, there's, uh, there's basically um, pull tabs on both sides of the zipper. So on the inside, you have your, your option that you can easily pull Pull, pull it open um, if you need more ventilation or there's bugs, you wanna zip that up and you can sleep like, like this setting. A lot of times the moon is so bright, I don't wanna have all this light coming in. So I'll zip it basically to where it's like half or even less. If it's a, a cold wind coming through, I don't want my face exposed to any of that. That's another benefit of the bivy is like, it'll protect you from that wind. Uh, it'll keep that wind chill off you. Which is, which is very nice. Um, you have room in the corners uh, of the bivy where you can put your phone, you can put an extra pair of socks, uh, headphones, medicine, Kleenex, whatever you want to have with you that you can just grab in the middle of the night. You, can, you have plenty of room to stuff that kind of stuff. For me, I like to have like my thermals that I'm going to wear the next day right there with me. So they're somewhat warm uh, when I wake up. Uh, so it, it's really nice to have that. When it is staked out, it has this kind of taut effect uh, where you don't have all this mesh or fabric uh, resting on your face. Uh, so it makes it uh, pretty nice. The bivy does not come with stakes, so you can use your own stakes and just stake it out. It can work without stakes, it's just not as, not as taut. As far as waterproofness goes, uh, I haven't had it in an actual rainstorm, but I have had it in a situation where a tent flooded I hopped into the bivy, got in on top of the puddle of water for over an hour, no water came in, no issues. Uh, the waterproofing is uh, Outdoor Research's Ascent Shell. Um, so the, the top of this is uh, 20 denier ripstop. The bottom is 40 denier ripstop with TPU. Uh, so it's lightweight. I haven't had issues with breathability, uh, condensation. I've never had my bag get wet uh, in the bottom. Uh, I've been using it in, in desert country, maybe that's an, a factor, but no issues with condensation. Um, and again, I just easy setup. You can uh, you use this to guy out to a tree if you need to, to, if you want a little bit more breathability in there, not as much fabric on you. But overall, this is a, a great bivy. I'm going to hop in there and show you what it looks like with me inside. So again, easily from the inside, you can, you can zip with the draw, drawstrings this way. Sleep like that. If you need more protection from wind or block out some light. So with the mesh, if there's bugs out, you're not gonna have any issue. You got plenty of room. Sleep sideways, got room to grab my stuff. All right, so I'm gonna show you the different zipping options with the bivy. So just the mesh. You got plenty of room. Uh, if there's bugs, this is perfect. If 
If you like that cool breeze coming in, you can use that. If the moon is too bright or it's too cold, you can, you can zip both the mesh and the external shell or just the external shell. Still keep it cracked for breathability or, you know, zip it even further. But I typically leave it open just so I have, have some, uh, some ventilation going in there. All right, again, the corners have space that you can put any kind of gear you want to get to right away, whether that's glasses, Kleenex, uh, a pair of socks, maybe a thermal base layer. Just easy access to put all your stuff right there, either side. You also have a decent amount of width on the sides where you can line, you know, if you want to put your socks or anything else that won't fit in the corners. Uh, it's 26 inches wide, so you do have some room. All right, so I got my sleeping bag in here now. Uh, I got the sleeping pad also. Uh, I got it deflated, and I'm just gonna show you how we roll it up. You can roll it up any way you want, but instead of taking down a big tent or guy outlines, all this kind of stuff, just take out the one pole, and you can fold it or just roll it. Make sure you're getting all that air out. You can, you can fold this up a little bit more or just put it in the very bottom of your pack or top part of your pack. But your camp is off the ground and you're ready to go. All right, and this is how it packs down without the sleeping bag, sleeping pads. This is just the bivy and a pole. See the comparison between that and an algae. All right, so a couple of differences between this bivy and a couple of the other outdoor research bivvies we carry. The uh, helium is just a little bit lighter, a little bit different material. The alpine uh, bivy is Gore-Tex and it's just a little bit heavier. The other big thing, big difference between this bivy and the other two bivvies is this one will zip all the way down to here, but the other ones kind of zip right here and it's going to take a little bit more work to get in there. So it's one factor out of uh, many. Uh, this one will weigh in at one pound 2.8 ounces without the stuff sack. It's 26 inches wide and uh, 82 inches long with 20 inch height right here for the head height. Um, again, it's breathable, waterproof, just simple setup. If you need a backup in the back of your car uh, or you, you just wanna have a backup for when you gotta go chase those animals high up on the mountain and you don't wanna come back to camp, a bivy is worth considering. Again, this is the Outdoor Research Stargazer Bivy. It's a great option if you wanna go lightweight and save time in the field. A lot of times you get to a camp late at night and you don't have time, you don't wanna mess with setting up a teepee or any kind of other tent, this is a great option. The next day you can just deflate your stuff, roll it up and throw it in your pack and go. Same if you're deep in the, in the back country and uh, you don't have time to, to mess with setting up a shelter. Uh, you can use a tarp for your gear as a backup uh, or you can just run with this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got great content coming out all the time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.